And before we go, we want to let you know about a special guest who will be joining us next week. Legendary chef Jacques Pepin welcomed us to his home and kitchen in Connecticut for a visit with both him and his miniature poodle, Gaston. We had a chance to sit down and talk about his long career as one of the most famous chefs in the world, cooking for presidents and dignitaries, and of course, his many years on PBS, sharing with all of us the techniques and know-how that's helped generations in the kitchen create fabulous meals. So many people know you from your cooking shows uh, and, and, and from PBS, uh, that really... That's really PBS, yes, more than it. I mean, I'm a big PBS man and I've been on PBS 40 years, something like this, you know. So, uh, yes, I'm a big PBS man, me and Julia, of course. Of course. I was with Julia, I lived in Boston and I teach at Boston University actually for 45 years, you know, so a long, long time. So we used to teach together, actually. So uh, we had a great time. I met Julia in 1960. Did you meet and know each other before you did the PBS series together? Were you good yes, friends oh, yes. for yeah, many did, years before? Yeah. Yes, actually, I came here at the end of 1959. I came to America and I met Julia in 1960. You know, not long after, I had a friend of mine, Helen McCulley, was the food editor of McCord, how beautiful. She became kind of my surrogate mother in New York way before I was married. And she said, oh, I, I get give the manuscript of a book. You want to take a look at it? And it was Mastering the Art of French Cooking. And she said, well, the woman is coming to New York next week. You want to uh, cook for her? I said, yes. She said, it's a tall woman with a terrible voice. You see. <laughs> and I met Julia. And could you have imagined when you met her that uh However, many years later, you and Julia would be on public television? No, absolutely not. She didn't either, because when I met her, she had never done a book before. She had never done television. She was never the full editor of a magazine newspaper, so she was not known at all, you know, at that point. So, and she just came back from France. I remember, because when I met her, we spoke French more than English. Her French was better than my English at the time. <laughs> Jacques Pepin is also releasing his newest cookbook this fall. We'll tell you all about that and his trip here to the Adirondacks on October 1st, when he will be our guest of honor at a gala to support Mountain Lake PBS. You can find out how you can join us in Meet Jacques Pepin on our website and our other social media platforms.